Hey guys, welcome into my video today. Today we're gonna to be testing the new Smashbox foundation and concealer pen. This is going to be an all day wear test. It is early in the morning, I'm getting ready. I will come back to you at the very end of the evening, having not retouched up anything to give you my final thoughts on this foundation. It has been a minute since I've tried anything from Smashbox and I have never tried a foundation or concealer from this brand. So I'm excited to try it. I like a lot of the claims on this. I wanna jump into showing you the product a little bit and then jump into some of the call outs on the foundation and the concealer. I have mine in the shade LN10. This is a glass bottle. It does come with a pump. It has a 24 month shelf life, which I actually think is quite a lot for a foundation. This was made in Canada. It's called the Always On Skin Balancing Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Adaptogens. So some of the call outs on this are, it's a long wearing foundation with skin balancing oil control and hydration that supports skin instantly and over time. It's supposed to provide instant and 24 hour hydration and oil control, both in one. That's very interesting. It says it's a buildable formula that delivers medium to full coverage. It is a primer infused foundation, so it's supposed to give you 16 hour color true wear, which is interesting. It says that it won't cake, flake, or streak for up to 16 hours. It also says it's water, sweat, humidity, crease, settle, and transfer resistant. I am in the perfect climate to test it and I will be outside for part of the day today. If you guys are new to my channel, I do live in Florida and it being the beginning of July, it is very humid outside and I will sweat. So we'll see if it's sweat and humidity and crease resistant as I am 38 years old and fuller cover foundations do tend to sink into my fine lines. This says it's appropriate for all skin types and this is vegan and cruelty free. Now let's jump into the concealer a little bit. I also picked up the concealer in LN10. This one actually says that it has a six month shelf life and it was made in Italy. It says it's a four-in-one clickable pen with 24-hour wear, all-day hydration, and instant radiance for easily concealing, highlighting, contouring, and correcting. It also withstands cake increasing and settling into fine lines for up to 24 hours. This also claims to be water resistant, sweat resistant, and humidity resistant. This concealer also has primer infused formula that hydrates over time for a soft, plump look. This is supposed to be buildable medium coverage and masks the appearance of fatigue, delivering a natural recharged look. It's lightweight, breathable. It is also appropriate for all skin types and it is vegan and cruelty free. This one does retail for $29. And I forgot to mention that the foundation retails for $45. So let's get into applying it. When I was pumping a little bit on the back of my hand, um, it seems like a pretty runny formula, but when I was like rubbing it in, it definitely felt as though it had a little bit of a whipped consistency to it. Like it was maybe a little bit thicker of a formula, even though it was slightly runny. I do think that this shade is slightly too dark for me, but I'm pretty sure that I bought this with the light to neutral undertone description, which is what I usually pick up. So I'm gonna do half of my face first and kind of see what the coverage gives me. I do not want to wear more than this, and I used about half that pump because I usually use about a full pump for my full face. And I want to give it a chance to not really like settle into my fine lines. I would say with the bit that I put on it, it's more like light to medium coverage right away. I can see a little bit of natural radiance, but it's not overly sticky. It seems like a pretty natural looking foundation if I'm being honest, it's not too much coverage. So that was half of a pump. It reduced a lot of the redness, but I wouldn't say that it like concealed too much. I'm gonna go in with the same amount on the other side. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good You guys, on first impressions, it's really just a light coverage Maybe light to medium coverage I don't necessarily see it being medium right away I feel like it could be buildable though It's quite a natural looking foundation It's actually quite beautiful Like this looks like my type of foundation. It does have like a slight bit of radiance. So I do believe that claim. And I think the naturalness about it comes from that little bit of radiance that it has. It's not like a satin foundation or anything. And sometimes when they say natural finish foundation, I do find that it turns like satin on my skin, but this one does have really just kind of a healthy glow. I do like the way this looks. I like the way that this first applied to my face. So let's move on into the concealer pen. I'm going to start again with the right side and I'm gonna start under the eye first 
Then I want to try and like spot conceal with this. This one for sure might be too deep of a shade. Wow, there was not a lot of coverage there, you guys. This is very, very light in the coverage department. So I am going to build this one up, <clears throat> which sometimes is the kiss of death with concealers because that's what can cause it to really crease is that I've built it up. I'm hoping that this has enough hydration that that's not the case. It's still very medium coverage. I can still see like my dark circles under my eyes. I don't think this is medium right away. And you saw that was two layers. Okay, so I'm going in a second time just to match the right eye. I kind of feel like it did a better job on the left side than the right side. Maybe I'm darker on the right side today. I like the way that this one looks. And I honestly don't think even putting on two layers made it look cakey. I'm gonna apply it to my nose because I did not go in with as much foundation, I think, on my nose. And plus my nose is a lot more red than the rest of my face. So I usually drag my concealer down at least my nose. So upon first impression with this concealer, it does also kind of have like a radiant finish. It's not overly drying. You can tell it's not like a satin finish foundation. This is on the lighter side though. Neither of these do I believe have medium coverage right away. I think they're light to medium and potentially buildable. So far the concealer seems very buildable because it's not looking too heavy on my under eyes. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup. Then we're gonna do one final check-in before I go about my day and then I do a full day wear test and come back to you guys. I will even try and take a picture out in sunlight for you at probably around the four hour mark so you can see how the foundation is holding up. We are back. I was very fast at doing my makeup because I am trying to get out the door. It is 8.50 in the morning now so I will have at least 12 hours to test this out. I did set my foundation and my concealer because that is how I normally would apply my makeup. I did set it with just a regular setting powder. Actually one that I know usually does a really good job in setting my makeup in humidity. So I am not going out and testing out this foundation with just the foundation and the concealer by itself. The only thing I can say right now that I haven't already said is that it is not settling into my fine lines. It's not settling here by my smile lines and so far the concealer doesn't look to be creasing. Like I said, I will try and take a picture out at about four hour mark and of course we will come back at the end of the night and I'll give you my final thoughts and you guys will be able to see how the foundation held up so i'll see you then hey guys welcome back it's been about 12 hours and i haven't retouched anything i'm going to start off by saying that i really like this foundation and i haven't felt that way about testing a new foundation from the first day's wear test i think probably in a while it doesn't keep my oils at bay you can see that my oils have peeked through on my nose quite a bit on my forehead. Let me scoot over because I did do some check-ins on my phone and I will throw them up on here. The first one that I'm showing you is around like the two and a half hour mark and I really put this to the test. I was out in the humidity. It was very, very humid today and it also was raining and so I was walking around in the rain with my family, like outside actually getting my face wet. So it went through the humidity, it went through the rain test. I was sweating a little bit out in the humidity even though it was raining. That's kind of how it works here in Florida. So the second check-in that I'm showing you guys is right around like the six hour mark from when I put it on and now we are here. It is at the 12 hour mark. So it doesn't keep your oils at bay, but I like the fact that it's a primer infused product and it's not an overly matte finish. Because it's primer infused, I think it actually lasts longer on your face, but I think that because it's not like a super matte finish, it does have like a slight bit of radiance or just not an overly matte finish when you first apply it before powder, but it doesn't stay in in the parts of your face that are a little bit more oily, but the breakdown of it just seems really beautiful. I know this is like probably a drastic change from the time when I put it on, but I think this is pretty normal for foundations for me because I'm so combo skin, very oily in the T-zone lately, and no real foundation stays on my nose or my forehead or really in the T-zone at all at like the 12 hour mark. Some better than others, but never completely. And I have to remind you guys, I did not put on any primer. I just had moisturizer on my face and I didn't use any setting spray or anything like that. I just powdered like I normally would. So that's it for the foundation. 
foundation. Now the concealer never creased, but it was super, super light coverage. Like it's not still there, not really. Even that second layer that I put on was more medium coverage. I did forget to mention that this is from their Halo line and their Halo line, they have a lot of like skin tints and moisturizers. And so those are usually lighter coverage anyway. This isn't like from the Halo line. So they, yes, they did launch them at the same time. I don't necessarily think that they're meant to be the same in terms of finish or coverage, even though they both said medium buildable coverage. I think this is light medium, but it is buildable. I even think because this doesn't feel too heavy on the skin that this is a medium buildable formula. I liked both of them though. Even though this is on the lighter side, it didn't crease and that's a big thing for me that it doesn't like cause creasing under this eye. It didn't look dry as the day carried on. I also hate that. It was a really light and thin formula. They both felt like a very light and thin formula. If you guys were thinking about picking this up, if you had dry, normal, or combo skin, I think you would really enjoy this. I don't think if you had oily skin, this is going to be like the matte finish foundation that you're looking for. I can just tell you, like on the drier parts of the outer parts of my face, it doesn't look dry or it never looked cakey and the more oily part of the center of my face. It didn't break off terribly strangely. However, if you guys saw the footage, it was coming off of my nose, it even at like the two and a half and six hour marks. Those are my final thoughts. I think it's a really good foundation. I'm gonna be reaching for this again. I quite enjoyed it. I don't think it's my most longest lasting, but it was still very beautiful. Even the concealer, I'm definitely gonna be reaching for again. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you are not a current subscriber, I would love to see you guys subscribe. I'm out of here for this evening and I hope to catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.